A horse knows what they're supposed to do by what your legs are asking. The way you sit in that saddle, the way your legs move, the way your calves tighten, the way your feet bump a horse, all of those things are communication. I guess you could say I'm at a disadvantage. I can only use my hands and my voice to communicate with my horse because I can't move my legs. My name is Amberly Snyder, and I'm a professional barrel racer. Barrel racing is a speed event in the world of rodeo. There are three barrels set up in the arena, and you do a cloverleaf pattern around those barrels, and it's all timed, so the fastest time wins. Barrel racing isn't just what I do. My horses and competing in rodeo, it's a part of who I am. I started riding at three and competing in barrel racing at the age of seven. Just have loved it ever since then. I mean, I've done it all through the junior rodeo days, up into high school, college rodeo, and now into the professional level. Only days before I was going to buy my pro rodeo permit, I was in a rollover car accident where I was ejected and broke my back which paralyzed me from the waist down. Doctors told me slim to no chance that I would be able to walk again. It was going to be impossible to ride. That wasn't an option for me. Riding was what I was going to do. I didn't care what had to happen. As I started doing therapy, sensations started coming back in my legs. When I got back on my horses, that only got better. The very first time I got back on my horse, I realized that it wasn't gonna be the same. The biggest change is balance. I went through the modifications, seatbelt on my saddle, Velcro straps around my legs, all these pieces that made it so that I could ride. The horse I have now, his name is Legacy, AKA Legs. I named him that because that's what he becomes every time I get to leave my wheelchair in my trailer. I now had to use my hands and my voice where my legs were now a piece I couldn't use. He's the one that has made all of those impossible things possible. I mean, he's the one that has brought me back into that arena to be not just a participant, but a competitor. To make the national finals rodeo and be a world champion barrel racer is my biggest goal. I've won over 70 buckles before my accident, but this buckle, this is my first buckle I won since my accident. Took me six years to get to win this one. There's been points where I wanted to quit. There's been points where it's been too hard. It doesn't matter what the odds are. It doesn't matter what people say. You're the only one that gets to decide what you're capable of.